Well, it was a big night for Owensboro tonight as the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum opened. But it's been a long journey after years of planning, delays, and construction. Eyewitness News Christina Van Zelst was at the grand opening, and she's here now with the story. Christina? VIPs toured the exhibits at the Bluegrass Museum today, saying it's phenomenal. But this night has been years in the making. Some glad it's finally here. This thing didn't belong in Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia. This belonged in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So this is in its right home. It's a big night for bluegrass music as hundreds of very important people gathered under this roof for the grand opening of the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum in downtown Owensboro. It's just so exciting that the night's here. We can begin living this out now on a daily, weekly basis. The $15 million building has several exhibits and a 450-seat theater where artists will perform this weekend for three days of music. But it didn't happen overnight. The Bluegrass Museum was one of three projects that stalled because the company working on the projects, Perrin Construction, filed for bankruptcy in January. It was supposed to open in the spring. It seems like everything happens for a reason. The timing works out the way it should. You know, it just seems like now that we're here, everything is clicked into place. I'm thrilled for Owensboro. I'm thrilled for the genre. But I'm also thrilled for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. This is one of the many exhibits in the museum where you can actually pick off an instrument from the wall and play it. <laughs> Hall of Famer Larry Sparks says it's something the music really needs. The people, the people has taken interest in this, and I think it's going to be uh, something. Like I say, in the future, it's going to it's going to help our music tremendously. It, it really will. A new class was also inducted into the Hall of Fame tonight. And the museum will be open to the public Saturday at noon, and it costs $12 for adults and $10 for kids. In the newsroom, Christina Van Zelst, Eyewitness News.